Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Yannick. Now, what we're doing here today is um, quite different to our normal format. The normal format is reading for each sign once a month. Um, and here I'm now doing six months readings or six months reading for each element. And we're starting with the element of fire and the fire signs are obviously Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So this is the reading for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius for the next six months, which means the cards here, the energy here, will get you through to the first week of January 2024. This is for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, the fire signs. So let's see what we got and then we'll take it from there. So let's just populate the area here and I'm using six cards because there's six months even though I don't necessarily read them that way what will happen here is that the upper part will be the energy as it flows in the next six months so there is a sort of a, a two months kind of thing and then the uh, bottom half here will be how you can behave as the energy are coming in and then I will just literally wait for whatever else needs to be said and we'll get that here with other cards from the same deck. So again this is for fire signs Aries, Leo and Sagittarius starting or in July, first week of July, end of the first week of July until the end of the first week of January 2024. So the couple of things here you have um, the, so the one in the middle will be the most important if that makes sense because as we're looking at six months the one in the middle which would technically speaking your three months line but it doesn't quite flow as evenly um, to be fair. Now right now what the guides are saying to you in the next two to three months energetically speaking you are getting, you are going from strength to strength, which makes sense because um, we're moving into um, the next fire sign, which is the sign of Leo very soon. So you're going into uh, uh, your natural time of strength anyway. And obviously, heading, uh, being in July, we're now heading towards summer, towards a point in time where the sun uh, warms us more if that makes sense so the point is the energy here for the next six months for uh, aries leo and sagittarius is really high um, the thing for you is in the next 10 to 12 weeks starting on july the 8th if that makes sense um, thereabouts is to keep your cool Okay, I'm, what I'm not getting is, it sounds a bit weird, so what I'm getting is keep your mouth shut. <laughs> but that's not how the universe means it. All they're saying is you can overreact all you want, you can argue, and then don't, want, don't, don't be surprised if it goes bloody nowhere. So what you're being asked is to be your dignified self. Understand that truth needs no defense. You just speak your mind, you speak your truth, but don't get into arguments and don't explain uh, yourself uh, unnecessarily. The point they're making is right now is the time for the next 10 to 12 weeks where all you're being asked to do, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is to understand that your truth is your truth and you don't have to explain it to other people. You just have to keep going. And here in that depiction here, there's a, a staircase going up. And so you are climbing at times, which means you, you are finding it difficult to stay on top of things. But also um, the energy here is like that you're trying to um, explain things to others. Maybe there's bigger changes uh, coming here, which is the one in the middle, which is the most important thing. There is There are changes coming. The point is you can already sense it, feel it. And at this point in time, just be a bit more observant rather than announcing a lot of stuff that may, may or may not really happen, if that makes sense. Which also then means for you to make up your mind um, over the next uh, three months 
as to where you would like your future to actually go. So, first things first, they are asking you now to be a really dignified self because that is what keeps you in your strengths. If you're just yourself and you don't have to project anyone's um, energy, that is just what you need to do. Ultimately, you are moving into new beginnings. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you are moving into new beginnings. Therefore, it literally is an energy or, or a case of in with the new, out with the old. In your three months line, you have um, change. And therefore, things will change before the year is through, if that makes sense. So, point is, for the fire signs, please, please, please understand it, it is not really super helpful if you plan things out for a long time or for a long time ahead. It just doesn't flow that way. It doesn't mean you shouldn't have plans. It just means that, you know, what doesn't work is when you put dates to things as though they would be written in stone because they clearly are not. Right? But you're going through changes and you're going towards situations that will change and for the most part will resolve because the energy towards the end of the six months first week of january towards that time remember time doesn't flow the way you want it to we have calendars and they're all helpful but sometimes they mean fake all uh, because you know time doesn't flow in a linear way the way we see it so i would take the timeline here with a bit of um not with a bit of salt, but with a um, with the understanding that time has its own pace and it flows the way it flows. And it is quite uneven here, which means we're not really sure when things happening, hence the six months timeline. Right? But we but energetically speaking, between now and your three months line, right? Um, you will already see that changes are coming. The point the guides are making is because your, your end card or your end energy is the sun, right? And the sun is what governs you, if that makes sense, because you're fire signs. So the sun is your biggest ally. And that card or that depiction here has a number on it. The number is 18, 1 and 8 is 9, which means the number of completion. You are going towards changes that need to happen now, if that makes sense, next up the next three months, but you are also at the end of a cycle. So yes, there will be new beginnings, there will be massive changes, but they need to happen. So please, fire signs, don't boycott yourself by wanting to stay put, by not wanting to look at change. Change is coming, you are going towards new beginnings, you're coming to the end of a cycle all happening in the next six months, you will notice the strongest on your uh, three months line. So you will notice in the next uh, 12 weeks, if that makes sense, up to the next 12 weeks, um, which things aren't working and where you're going. So, so there's nothing to worry about because the one in the middle, which is your change energy card, has the number 25. Five and two is seven. Seven is the highest number of protection and healing. Therefore, you are going towards changes that will lead to releasing stuff. And now your incoming card here, the dignified card, has the number 13. One and three is four. Four is the number of letting go. So be cool. Stay cool. Stay stay uh, calm and collected. You got this. But let things go. You will be directed towards that. Now, this is just the energy as it flows for the fire signs Aries, Leo and Sagittarius in the next six months, which means from sort of now to round about the end of the first week in January. And here's a few um, energies, a few um, helpers, helping energies to tell you what this is about and how this will likely look. Now, in order for you to progress according to the timeline that is sort of um, happening here, you have to watch your money. You have to watch your resources. Now is not the time. The next six months is not the time to, um, to sounds a bit weird, to buy a lot. So if you're a person that needs to buy a house, wants to buy a house, that's all well and good. But don't spend a million you haven't got. So what I'm getting is, is this whole, um, you know, mortgage kind of thing that isn't working. So if you are a person that is in the middle of 
massive changes that have a lot of financial implications. All the guys are saying, because we're at the, at the beginning of your six months time here, right? Uh, because we're at the beginning of your six months line, um, you have to watch your resources at this point in time. Uh, look at what you're actually doing. Now, towards the middle of the six months, what you will notice is regards to the change that is coming in, that a lot of the changes that need to be made have to do with the past. There will be ancestral things coming your way, uh, family things, maybe you're going through a relationship that feels just like the one before, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the main, the, the middle energy, which is obviously the bulk of it here, is the south node. And the south node is both your past as well as your karma. So what the guides are saying to you, it is really, really important to not block whatever karmic lessons are coming for you and to you. Really, really important. Now, the, the number of the thousand node here is 33, which is a minor master number. Now, I said that again, I said that again, I said that before in other readings. In numerology, which is very much related to astrology, only 11 and 22 are proper master numbers because only they would fit into a calendar. You have 33 slash 6. Now, here's the problem. 6 is the number of ether. And ether can be seen as the glue that holds things together. Now, you can hold on to, to, the, to, the, to the issues from the past and then you prolong the pain. You prolong the not knowing where life would have been gone, uh, would have been going if you actually allowed it to leave you. This is clearly about releasing older trauma that has to do with either relationships and or family and ancestral stuff from way back when. Now, as I said, in the six months that are coming, you know, you are going to new beginnings. Therefore, holding on to things isn't working. What probably makes sense is for you to accept the apology or an apology you never get, if that makes sense. So if you have to let stuff go, what is what is not happening, because you have the, the, the karmic energy here in the past, what you cannot necessarily expect to happen is for things to be resolved with understanding and peace. Now, that is across. That is sort of a, a more generic thing. That doesn't mean uh, all your relatives and 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 relationships of of times gone by are horrible. Uh, were horrible, but you will very likely have to walk away from stuff rather than looking for a solution. If that makes sense, which is the whole entire energy. Your energy here for the fire signs is changed. Now, fire signs are equipped to deal with change. Really, really important because obviously Aries, Leo and Sagittarius make up the fire signs. Aries is the first sign. If you're an Aries, your entire energy is about moving forward to boldly go where no man has gone before, that kind of energy. So you, in your energy is to pressure on. So you're not used to stopping, um, whether it is to smell the roses or whether it is to... to, to um, pay attention and um, to take stock. Aries energy is about moving forward. Similarly, the other fire sign here is obviously Leo and Sagittarius. Leo, you are governed by the sun. The sun is the, is, is the end energy of the new beginning. So you're going home, which means for Leos, the change will be super powerful, super empowering. Um, but in the meantime, you have to understand that you are still depicted as a male lion. Therefore, what you need is space and a lot of me time. And then uh, when it comes to the last uh, of the fire signs, um, Sagittarius, what will happen here to you is that you are the archer and you have to decide how much energy and emphasis you put on the changes that are supposed to be released here. So for Sagittarius, it will be a bit more difficult to get through this in one piece, if that makes sense, because you will question a lot of things, which are not, which is not helpful, because obviously you're going through changes in the mid, in the mid time, midline, which is your three months line, and then heading to new beginnings uh, at the end of your six months, which is January. Um, now remember, these are still general readings. Uh, you know, take what resonates and and leave the rest for someone else, right? Um, but the energy here flows into um, understanding that for Sagittarians you will sometimes question whether or not you made the right choice and it is pointless, right? You make the right choice, right? 
trust yourself a little bit more. That is the six months reading for um, the fire sign. So in short, you are going towards change, but do it knowing who you are, hence the dignified strengths, right? You will go through change. You will notice in about three months time what needs to change, what has come to an end, what must come to an end. And then um, when, when, as we then progress to the, to, the, to, the, to the rest of the six months, um, round about the first week of January, this is just how the six months flow here, um, you already in new beginnings. And here, the, as the last uh, energy here, um, you have Mars. And Mars is another super fiery uh, energy. And because you are fire signs, Mars has nothing else to do but to support you. But Mars is all about movement. Mars is all about motion. So as you then come to new beginnings, once the new beginnings are happening, you cannot sit on your ass and do nothing. And you cannot sit there and figure things out. You are asked to be your pushy self, if that makes sense, right? And just trust your intuition. And, and again, not sure why I'm getting all that Star Trek stuff. Boldly go where no man has gone before. Or if we even go further back to boldly go where no one has gone before. Even though that's not really the energy I'm getting here. It's not that you're going to no man's land and that the situations will be completely new to you. But it is change that leads to new beginning. And that change will bring you a breather because as a fire sign and having the sun and Mars as the outgoing energy, things that are no longer wor wor working will be burned away. This will be a proper new beginning. That was the six months reading from, uh, well, I recall it on July the 8th, so it would be from July the 8th to, to, July, uh, to January 8th. The point is here, it goes six months from the end of the first week in July to the end of the first week in January, simply because time doesn't give a crap about, about our calendars, right? But the energy here still flows very much in these units, if that makes sense, right? Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Thank you so much. Um, the regular readings that you normally get are still happening. Um, it's just because we're in this area or era of having um, four super moons that the guides asked me to go do way more videos, uh, go way deeper than uh, I would normally do. And um, so, yeah, I do that, obviously. I hope that helped. Um, please like, subscribe and share. It would really help the channel out. Um, and if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. See you all very soon.